Well, hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Idle Spiral. So this is an idle clicker. It's free to play. So I, I like these sort of games that I have a soft spot for them. They're not for everyone. Um, and in this case, you're making essentially mathematical shapes, spirals. And, um, and that's apparently the gimmick, the core loop. I don't exactly know how that could work. I haven't looked into it, but we're going to find out. Um, welcome to a world of Idle Spiral. You hear someone's beautiful voice. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> you try to respond, but your voice won't come out. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm sure you have no idea what's going on right now, so let me explain to you what's going on in this world. Believe it or not, in this world, you can only go around in circles. Well, that sounds a lot like the real world. Um, your value is measured by your distance R from the origin. Okay, I can get around that. Um, I... I like, I know it's a quick aside already, but the idea of spiraling out infinitely from a central origin starting point, I saw something in that like world seed where you're trying to push out from the center origin. I find that quite appealing. Anyway, funny when you've got battle royales where it's the other way around, you've got to go in the circle gets smaller. It's kind of cool, cool way to look at things. In the previous world, you may have been valued for your wealth or your looks, eh, wrong on both. But in this world, neither will help you. Okay. Please do not be depressed when you hear this. Any effort will lead to R. Okay. Good. Radius it is. I am in a very distant place, but due to my circumstances, I cannot move from here. But if you can increase R, we might be able to meet. It may be very, very long way away, but I will be here waiting for you. All right. I'm motivated. Best story so far this week. You have no idea who or what she was talking about, but no matter how you moved your body, all you could do was spin around in circles. You decided to leave the origin. Whee! I'm going to get my R on. Let's go, baby. Okay, so what's going on here? So my R is incrementally increasing from, from the center, I suppose. Oh, shit. And what's this do? A, achievements. Get a daily bonus. You have three tries left. Store. Yeah. Spiral design. Variables. Ooh. -wee. And then spiral design. Simple blue, simple yellow. Simply red. I see red. I see red. Oh, wait, that's split ends. Um, what's this D down here? Divide spiral signs. Oh, goodness me. All right, how do I get back to where I was? Tom's five. Oh, shit. What's the point of that? P is unlocked at R equals one million. Z is on Z. How would Z play into this? Okay, sure. Automation costs one. One what though? K plus. Okay, delta R, right? Plus K, so K is some sort of central constant or something like that, right? So if I buy more K, what exactly is that changing? Okay, hang on. This. A. Oh, hang on. And we've got A as a constant in front of U. Now it starts to swirl. Prestige. Well, wait, what are you saying? 1 to 1.25. Reset all R upgrades. Yeah, bugger it. Let's go. So you reset back to the beginning. All right. Prestige. Got it. Cool. Um, this world is a beautiful voice. Uh, as a beautiful voice said, seems to be all about R. In order to increase the amount of R, you have to consume R. Yeah, well, such as the idler system, I guess. In the, in the world one, in the world I was in before, in order to increase money, I had to invest in it. Well, I mean, that's that's you can't escape it. That's capitalism 101. Um, in order to create time, you had to spend time. It is a common rule in all worlds that you have to lose something to gain something. Sure, absolutely. It's investment. 
Um, if that's the case, maybe if you start over from the beginning, you'll get something better. You decide to go back to the starting point. Um, okay. Let's, uh, so what exactly changed though? I'm not sure. we uh, reach T tornado prestige. What, what is that? Huh? So tornado prestige, you have to make your R value more than, oh, okay. Right. So that's later. Don't worry about that. Oh, you know what? Has that increased our omega power? No, that doesn't make sense. It's, it that would have been squared already. All right. How do I get this shit off my screen? Do I click that? Okay, cool. So there's a hundred. R equals a hundred. Cost 110. Okay, right. So it's not very, oh, hang on. 1.25. Ah. Right. Okay, so the cost of this goes up. Okay, right. So I was getting excited that we're going to write complicated equations in that, but it doesn't really look like that, to be honest. 15. Oh my god, it's getting a bit rude, isn't it? Now, how come we're ducking back in and going out? A times. That's interesting. I mean, it's going to send it like crazy. That's for sure. Look at my R fly. What am I spending? Oh, my sp I'm actually spending R. That's why it dips back in. Right, but that increments B by uh, 0 0.01, right, but because that's compounding multi multiplicative, that's actually pretty intense. And what's K? K is just a hard sort of constant. Oh, that's cool. In you go. Look at it fly out now. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Right. Now, was this the prestige thing to change our uh, Amiga multiplier? By 1, by 10, by 25, by all. Hmm. Oh, we've unlocked C as well because our R has gone up there. Cool. No, we're not quite at the... Let's let it run out. So I can unlock these. Could I write my own formula before? Was that a thing? Daily tier one. Reassign spiral points. I've got three out of three. Tornado prestige can increase reassign spiral points. Oh no, don't press that. I lost one of the things. So I don't know how to buy any of this shit. Spiral points. Oh, that's like a reroll. Okay, so this might be a meta currency. Like, it's hard to tell. Spiral design. Hang on. 
Oh, I can just play with my spire a little bit. Oh, this isn't nearly as complex as I thought it was. I mean, it, underlying it is, but my sort of degree of freedom is not really there. That's okay. Yeah, right, we're getting, getting expensive now. All right, well, I'll zoom out. Let's see if we can hit 10,000. Shouldn't take much, to be honest. All right, and we've got Delta and Echo at one base. But what are these other unlockables, I wonder? We didn't have to pay to unlock that. So once we trip 10k, that'll unlock that, which presumably will be the, the bloody Delta, right? Um, so we've got a formula making A. Yeah. I don't know what else would be there. We've got probably Delta and Echo. Omega's Prestige. Unless you can unlock that as well. I don't know. Maybe it'll introduce other components to the equation. I don't know. I mean, it's pleasant enough. Nice little music. And... I love incremental games. <laughs> like I mention it every time. Put in a comment for me again, please. Uh, uh, Ign Interregnum Chronicles Signal. It's those three words. I don't know what order they're in. <laughs> It's the dumbest name ever, but it's a, it's an incremental idler where you're in a space station and you go from terminal to terminal and you've got to sort of look after the station as well. It's not super complicated, but it's it's a great example of where you can go with idlers. It doesn't just have to be the system. You can have it in a really good setting. Yeah, I'm, I might have to cover that on the channel again because I really like that game. It's a, it's a melding of idler and, dare I say, something sort of like uh, like you can tell a story, visual novel adjacent, which I'm open to because then the gameplay loops solid because it's incremental. Okay. Um, oh, shit. Hang on. What's happened here? We've unlocked all of these. A, B, C, D, E plus 1%. Now, where do you come into it? A plus log K to the... 10 to 0 percentage 0 percent 18 so okay okay so if, if you were to buy that I don't actually understand what it's incrementing because we've already got all of those okay that's fine but I'll pre hang on prestige to you one question if I buy this Oh, I got to re-reach it again. That's okay. I wanted to find out what this was going to do. 18. Okay. So it's just creating that equation as a percentage, right? I can see that. K's 6. Why is K63? Oh, plus K. Right, yeah, that's our original constant. Got it. Understood. So if I increase that, it'll increment that there. You can see 36.26, 36.39, right? So there's K to the 1. Oh, okay. That's the level of this. Right, now I understand. And basically, this equals a number, which is, in this case, uh, what, 36.39%. And that gets applied somehow. That's this is messy, but I get it. I understand it. All right. Oh, that's not unlocked yet. I was going to say, why is this overlapping here? All right, prestige. Yes, good. Increase my omega multiplier. You'd be mad not to. And and this how like whatever. This is all bloody Dark Souls airy fairy. You know. Less is more. I, I don't necessarily agree with it. Let Dark Souls do their law where they give you these little sound bites that make no sense and, and think it's mysterious. It's fine. Dark Souls does it fine, but everyone's got to stop copying it. 
Somehow I think I figured out how to survive in this world. I've also come to understanding that the spiral can be a powerful weapon if used properly. Okay. Like it's just platitude after platitude. I felt that if, uh, well, it's not really a platitude, I suppose, but it's, it's still vague. Um, I felt that if I could use the spiral better, I would be able to realize a more powerful version of myself. Well, there we go. <laughs> and I would be able to go farther. Next time I'll try to go around while also practicing. And what, like that wasn't a value add, but I think, I think consumers and writers rooms alike have tricked themselves into thinking that something like that is value add. It's a block of text that generally leans platitude that doesn't really achieve anything, doesn't say anything, but it's sort of, it sounds kind of a bit pretentious, you know, a bit paradoxical perhaps, you know, smells its own fart a little bit and people are like, well, that's a value add. That's added to the story. It's like, no, it's not. It's a jumble of words that go around, you know, a bunch of $5 words that go around in a circle that don't really bloody achieve anything. Um, expect more, I would say, as a consumer. Um, okay, where were we? We just like buy all. Oh. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Oh yeah, this might be the way to do it. At least for that moment when it zooms in, you can sort of see how much it's going for. Oh, for a moment I thought I could hold it down. I can't. I have to keep clicking. Set is unlocked there, reach a million. What's this do? So it just looks cool. Right, got it. I understand. Okay, I think we've got the gist of it, right? I don't think, we, we are hitting the, not, not, not the wall. Oh, what is this? Battle spiral. Right, so that must have been that wall of text was trying to say, is that you can fight or something. Start battle. Your spiral three damage. <laughs> What is going on versus a training dummy? Parameter gain. To upgrade. What is going on here? How do I get out of this screen? Right, reward. Where's the experience? There it is. Total reward plus one XP. Oh wait, I finally beat the dummy. Effect gain, parameter gain. Come on. Right. So these are my rewards down here. Is that the idea? Unlock auto start to defeat thousand enemies. Okay, that might be a money thing. To upgrade. Cost 100 XP. Cost 10. I've got 1 XP. Let me out. Stop battle. 
Reroll rewards and difficulty. Oh. My spiral's getting his health back. What is going on here? Total rewards. Looks like you always get XP plus one. So whatever. Start battle. All right, let's see what happens when we kill him. Reward plus one XP. All right, hang on, there we go. Attack plus two. XP one. Oh, hang on. Is it shuffling the rewards? Oh, maybe it's sequential. If I want to get the XP, I have to finish all of these pre previous upgrades. That's what it looks like. Ah, I think that's what's going on. Bugger, I don't have like any regen. Now, attack defense, regenerate while resting. Hang on, stop battle. So you can regenerate and then, and then you can resume. Hang on, now what about his health? 87. It uh, lets him go again. Ah! Uh, uh, okay. This is cool. Now, is it using... Like, if I jump out of here, is it using my current formula? not sure it must be right they must be tied together but it's not really saying anything 73 HP we're doing okay I need to know I need to know what's at the end of this bullets yeah belt him harder so I'm earning back some HP See my A values increase there. I just don't see a formula. A difficulty, reward multiplier. Parameter gain. All right, here we go, here we go. Tell me more. Tell me what happens. All right, cool. Presumably I've got XP. Two XP. Let's go. Upgrade parameter. All right, I understand. All right, so we just sort of let that run, I think. Now see this K... 52 to 53. So K is actually 52, but here it says 60. All right? And you can see we've got K plus 8 from this. So let's say stop battle, reroll rewards and difficulty. My spiral remains, the reward table changes, my parameters are extant as well. So I have to wonder if I don't think you can die so much as when you run out of HP you probably can't battle. And it might even put a cooldown that you have to recharge back up. I don't know. I don't know, it's all speculative. Total reward, attack plus one. K plus eight. Effect gain. So you've got 
parameters, which will affect the overall spiral in the meta progression, but you've also got these bonuses here. Oh yeah, big HP gains, let's go. So how much am I gonna lose in the process of it, you know? Oh yeah, we can use this as a quick health boost, right? Potentially three damage. Oh, maybe not. Stop battle. Attack plus two. Does it backload the attack as well? Like all this HP. It's interesting how it's favoring giving me HP now. Attack here. Attack there. Ooh, look at this. Attack's close. I want that one. So we'll, we'll grind for that, even though we could be just grinding for the XP. Now, presumably this thing will just keep biting. Did we rolled regen at one point, remember? Man, if only I'd understood. That probably could have been baller. All right, give me that attack. There we go, attack plus one. Attack plus six, holy shit, let's go. Let's get into that. Defeated number, difficulty zero, attack three, reward multiplier, 100. Okay. Rarity chances, common, uncommon, rare. Oh, you know what? That must be for a... Uh... That must be for the reward table. This is really interesting. Down. Let's jack this bad boy up. Now, how do we increase that? I wonder if it's in here somewhere. Hundred, five hundred, two K. Attack plus five percent. Upgrade of rewards. Interesting. Two thousand. What's this? Increase the maximum level of upgrades. Okay. Ten XP. Yeah. So you probably just let this thing run. Though now we're doing some. Big boy damage. Yeah, defeat a number. I wonder how you go about unlocking the next sort of tiers. This is great. This is actually great. That's exactly what it needed. Perfect. All right, well, look, I think you've got the gist of it, team. This is really cool. You should check it out yourself uh, if you're into these sort of things. Um, it's very pleasant. Once you get your head around how the formulas and all that works, you come to realize that it's, it's more just an idle game showing you behind the curtain a little bit, right? Um, and if you find that gimmick enough, then so be it. The battle thing adds an extra layer to it. So we've got multiple sort of trees of progression, which, like I said, that Interregnum Chronicles signal game, something similar in that you have multiple different terminals that you have to go to and they sort of are codependent in different ways so it gives you multiple sort of it's not even plates to spin but different upgrade paths to juggle um yeah i like it and i presumably it, act, it unlocks even more as you go anyway team let me know what you reckon otherwise i might just leave it there for the time being and i'll catch you guys on the next one